Hi, everybody. This is Josh, and uh, welcome to Pomeroy Creative. Um, if you haven't seen, I have uh, posted a poll on my uh, Google Plus collection for art and design. And basically, I just wanted to get some feedback from uh, some of the, the people that, that follow me. And thank you, by the way, for your support and, and input. And um, um, so I just asked the question, what kind of content would you like to see more of? And I'd just like to ask the same question to um, everybody on YouTube that watches my videos. Um, I have, I've, I've had a tremendous amount of feedback, uh, very positive feedback from uh, my Google Drawings videos. And um, it, starting kind of with the vector portraits that I started doing uh, a few months ago and really just kind of experimenting with uh, Google Drawings and how, how much I could push it to create artwork, uh, specifically illustrated portraits. And um, one of the things that I've been loving about it is the, the sort of streamlined set of tools that you get. It's not like Adobe Creative Suite, any of those programs, um, but it does give you enough tools to be creative. And uh, so I've been using it for illustration and for uh, designing stuff for print and for the web. Um, anything basically that allows you to create shapes that you can give color to, as well as pull in images, you can do a whole lot with. Um, I, I've been able to do a lot of work um, using Google Drawings and Google Slides or Google Presentations that um, I used to use uh, like InDesign for or Illustrator. Now, I'm not saying that this is a replacement for those programs. There are a lot of things that, uh, that designers depend on those um, applications for. But uh, what this is all about and sort of the, the, mo the motivation behind a lot of what's sort of steered the content of my YouTube channel uh, and a lot of my posts recently, and my blogs. If you don't uh, read my blogs, check out joshuapomeroy.com, and you can see a little bit more in depth on some of these, some of these thoughts and um, projects that I'm doing. Um, but basically, it's just motivated by the question: What could I do on a inside of a browser? And part of the reason for that is. Um, I, I like th I like thinking about tools uh, as tools, tools that help me accomplish a goal. The tool isn't the goal. My goal isn't to have Adobe Creative Suite on, on my computer. My goal is to be able to create great design. And if I can do that, who cares what tools I used? Um, but I also like the idea of being able to be at the library and not even have my own computer, but having complete access to my own files and being able to edit those files. So sort of training myself to think about um, applications, apps, um, web, uh, web software. I don't, I don't know exactly what to call it, but um, they're tools for me that I'm able to use. Uh, to create what I want to create. And I think they've also started influencing some of my style and some of the way I create. So I, I just have lots of, of interesting thoughts about it. Um, and uh, I, I've gotten, like I said, some great responses. So I want to continue down this road and see where it takes us. And thank you for being along for the ride. And I want to share as much about this process with you as I can um, that I feel like will be helpful to anybody. I think that um, especially for maybe educators or people that are, um, you know, in, in the school system or really um, interested in any kind of cross-platform idea, meaning whether you're on a Mac, a PC, a Chromebook, an Android uh, tablet uh, or a Linux machine. 
the fact that you can do some of the work that I'm about to show you in a browser means that it doesn't matter what's installed on your computer. So to me, that's really exciting. I think that we're really in an exciting time with um, sort of not only storage being cloud-based, but also uh, collaboration and, and being able to use tools that exist in the cloud and also offline uh, to really be able to craft great content. And so anyway, I'm looking at my poll right now. I see there's still a lot of interest with Google Drawings as well as mobile apps and free resources. So this video obviously is just a little bit of a, a video log, but uh, also I want to um, kind of start looking at some of these things a little bit more specifically. And uh, as far as Google Drawings, I'll just show you something that I'm uh, working on right now. This is current. Uh, if you're watching this video, today is Sunday, June 14th, 2015. And here I am in my Google Drive. My, my, uh, my folder of clients uh, continues to grow. Um, and I have a lot more clients than, than what's in here, but these are ones that I have um, files for that exist in my Google Drive. And a lot of them, almost all of them, will have Google Drawings inside here. So um, I want to I want to show you one that I um, just kind of finished up at least the first version of yesterday. So again, we're in we're in Google Drawings. And um, all of this stuff right here is created in Google Drawings and entirely in Google Drawings. I have, I have created some uh, graphics before that I've imported into Google Drawings and using Cloud Convert from going from either a PDF or SVG into a WMF, which is what Google Drawings uses, uh, recognizes as sort of a clip art vector file. Um, this I got from the client. This is Sinker's Bubble T. And uh, what I have selected here, you see outlined in blue, was what they gave me to start with. They wanted something like this, but just polished, much more professional looking. And so this is what we've ended up with. Uh, this cup here, I started, I, I created first. And um, as I've done in other videos, I've just kind of moved it off to the side. And I will uh, actually drag another duplicate out here. Let me go over to this side and pull this apart for you so you can see how I've built it. So using Command-Shift-G on a Mac, I can ungroup things. You see I've got just a really, really simple sort of uh, stamp or badge here that I've used just an S and a, inside of a circle. And this is word art. So I could select that, double click it to uh, change it if I want. Um, and then this cup here, this cup is just created with the, um, the curve tool. So just using the curve tool, I have sort of created the outlines of the cup just like that. And then taking the stroke off because I'm actually creating shapes. Um, and I think that's much wiser than trying to draw something with an outline. So um, I actually draw the shape of the line with the curve tool and make sure those, those are closed shapes. So that's how I have created the majority of this cup. I can ungroup this as well. And you see in here, I've got orange circles, dark orange circles, and sort of this uh, bright yellowish orange circles, which I'm also going to put into a group. So I've got these I can select as a group, and I've got these I can select all as a group, and I've just placed them inside the cup. Again, all of these pieces were created with the curve tool and just overlapping each other. This sort of semi-transparent uh, color I've achieved by going, I selected white and then went to custom and just took down the, the opacity of that color. Okay. Um, and then uh, just made sure that these pieces were sent to the back. Uh, so my black lines are in front, which again are shapes. And you can always double click these to tweak them. And uh, which I may, I may do here, just 
I can move those little nodes around to uh, modify my shape and get it just the way that I want. Okay, and then I've just placed these right on top like that. And the the sinker is here, the sort of the main logo. Um, the the biggest part of it is word word art again. There's sinkers, and I've just typed it out right there using all lowercase characters. And then with the cup, I uh, just put it right on top of the eye. So if I ungroup this, you see the um, cup is isolated in its own little group, just covering up the eye. So the cup acts as the eye, like the client had here in the original. But um, I think this works a little bit better as an eye. And even to overemphasize it, I put a dot that's sort of coming outside the cup, this sort of bubble that's uh, popping out, out of the cup to dot the eye. Um, and then these are just uh, rounded rectangles. And again, I've just grouped it all together. Um, again, I've got the badges up here that I just changed the, the color of the circle. Um, these are their sort of uh, signature colors that they're gonna be using. So. Here's a logo project that I probably would have used something like Illustrator or iDraw for. In this case, I just jumped right into Google Drawings and wanted to see what I could create with just Google Drawings. And now if I export this as a PDF, it's going to contain all of my vector information. And the cool thing is it will automatically um, convert all of my type, all the, all the font characters, into curves. Uh, so that's a good thing. You, you want to do that if you're an illustrator or other vector applications and you're going to sort of save this for, you know, to back up or send for the, the, them the final files. You want to convert those fonts into curves because not every font is installed on every machine. So it may not render that vector information in the font itself uh, correctly. It might just change to substitute font. So you want to render them, render them to curves or convert them to curves. Google Drawings does that by default when you export it as a PDF or, at, or as an SVG. So that is one of the current projects I'm working on. And again, sort of pushing uh, what, I, what I've even been used to doing with Google Drawings, not just for charts and uh, you know, flow charts and uh, uh, I don't know what else people may sort of expect to, to get out of Google Drawings, but uh, also creating really great quality logos and illustrations. That's it for this video. Um, I'll be talking more about uh, some some mobile applications that I'm using. Um, again, I've recently switched to Android. I'm using the Galaxy Note 4, and uh, I've been able to, to just, I think, really be more productive and more creative on, on Android. Than, than I ever have before. And uh, I want to just kind of show, show also some of you who have voted for wanting to see more mobile apps for art, uh, some of the stuff that I'm doing. So look for those videos coming up as well as more stuff from Google Drawings. All right, thanks guys. I'll see you later.